Hey guys, welcome back to Dog Forge. My name's Paul. And today we'll be continuing our Modern Kingdom Presents Monsters of the Multiverse race series with the Shifter. An advance warning if you hear the sound of running water at any point during this video, that's because I have officially melted and uh, maybe somebody else will come in and finish the video. Either way, let's transition on into taking a look at these furry folk. So we don't get any new art. This is the same art as in uh, Rising from the Last War. Uh, which is a little bit of a shame. However, this is one of the races that does have quite a bit of change to them. Um, starting off with our boilerplate change of instead of a plus two con and then a sub race specific bonus, you can have plus two and a plus one to whatever you want, or three plus ones of your choice. Now, one of the other changes we have, which is a fundamental change that we need to address at the beginning, is much like the Asima, the Shifter used to be a uh, a sub-race, uh, separate race kind of deal, where each kind, you know, Beast Hide, Long Tooth, that kind of thing, were their own separate choices, whereas now it is instead just the core Shifter race, and at first level, you choose the kind of shifting you do. This doesn't really have much fundamental changes, and they can they can make this kind of amalgamation because they no longer have the fixed ASIs, basically. Um, that doesn't really change anything, but let's get into what does actually matter. Now, shifting. Shifting remains a bonus action, and actually, no, before we go into that, let's, let's tackle how they handled our skills, shall we? Let's put off the good stuff. So, Bestial Instincts, this was previously different for each of the separate kinds of Shifter. Um, now it is allowing you to choose a proficiency from a list of Acrobatics, Athletics, Intimidation, or Survival. And that's basically what you could choose from before. With, uh, well, basically, in you know, Beast Hide was Athletics, uh, I believe Swift Stride was Acrobatics, and then Intimidation was Longtooth, and Survival was Wild Hunt. So they've just amalgamated all of that into a choice you can make, so that that is not lost. Still get 60 feet of Dark Vision. And back over to Shifting, it is still a bonus action to activate, it does still last a minute. But let's start off with the change to the number of times you can use it. This used to be a once per short or long rest kind of resource. But changing with the new paradigm, this can now be used a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus. Because they hate me and want me to say proficiency bonus so many times, they also change the temporary hit point formula to twice your temporary to temporary hit points twice your proficiency bonus. Proficiency bonus. Now this is just a straight up nerf. Um, before we even get into the actual abilities, this is just worse. Originally, you used to get temporary hit points equal to your level plus your constitution modifier. So, first level characters will actually receive a benefit from the new way, and then after that it promptly just falls off and never really recovers. Unless you had an exceptionally low constitution before, which being a shifter wasn't particularly likely. So, with that in mind, the the unified benefit of the temporary hit points is now significantly worse. You do have the option of now shifting multiple times per rest. And I can see them maybe looking at this from a how many temporary hit points do you get per day kind of formula. And the problem with that is that it doesn't really matter how many temporary hit points you have per day. If you have less temporary hit points going into an encounter you are more likely to take actual hit point damage which is going to require more resources or hit dice spent on a short rest and you're more likely to just go down or die. Um, I really wish they would have kept the resting the same so that you could have had that larger amount of temporary hit points. Uh, two times proficiency bonus is a minuscule amount that at best is going to take the brunt of maybe one hit if it's a low damage kind of hit and in higher levels is just barely going to matter at all. Uh, getting into the actual bonuses, again you choose the kind of shifting that you, you know, that you would normally choose as your sub race at first level. Beast Hide remains the same at plus one to your AC and an additional d6 temporary hit points. 
that d6 temporary hit points is drastically increased in value now compared to the original. So if you're looking to play a shifter because you want that shifting form to be an ultra tough kind of combat form, then Beast Hide is really your only option for that now. Uh, two times your proficiency bonus plus a d6 is actually decent. Uh, you know, in tier one, you're going to be getting an average of 7.5 temporary hit points. So that's not bad. And at the very least, rolling a dice and getting a six will feel good from time to time. Long tooth. Now this is one of the ones that has actually benefited. Uh, now it is actually the same type of benefit. You get a bonus action attack with your teeth, and that's a D6 plus your strength modifier. However, you can now also make that attack as part of the bonus action of shifting. That is a huge bonus and makes it far less cumbersome. Uh, I mean, previously you would have spent a bonus action shifting and then just not got the benefit of your actual shifting feature for an entire turn, which would have been absolutely awful. Moving on into Swift Stride, and this is also the same. I believe it's actually identical. You get a plus 10 feet speed boost, and then you get a similar move to the R Scout Rogue, where you can move up to 10 feet as a reaction when a creature ends its turn within 5 feet of you. That does not provoke opportunity attacks, and this is not going to save you getting hit most of the time, uh, as they'll most likely hit you when they close on you. However, it will stop you getting hit repeatedly. This is the kind of shifter you want to be if you're uh, you know, dex-based, playing a ranged character. Uh, perhaps uh, the kind of shifter you'd want to be if you were a spellcaster, for instance. And finally, Wild Hunt. Now, this is... Uh, very potent depending on the kind of character and game you were playing so when you're shifted no creature within 30 feet of you can have advantage on an attack roll against you unless you're incapacitated and in addition to that you have advantage on wisdom checks this is exactly the same uh, no different whatsoever the advantage on wisdom checks you can leverage as a druid uh, maybe even a cleric to get on dispel magic checks, or if you, you know, somehow got counter spell from somewhere, like one of the marked races or one of the new backgrounds. And the advantage denial is fantastic for things like a barbarian recklessly attacking. If you are a wild hunt barbarian, you can recklessly attack without any downside as much as you want, basically, especially now that you have the increased number of shifts. But that is all. They've basically just smashed all of the sub races into one, heavily nerfed the temporary hit points you get from shifting, and made Long Tooth significantly better. Now, how I feel about this is, uh, I don't like it. Uh, the the amalgamating them into one option doesn't really matter. That's just bookkeeping, in my opinion. It doesn't matter if they're sub races or one option that you just choose how they work but reducing the number of temporary hit points feels very out of touch in my opinion with how the game is actually played if you're looking at it from how many temp hp do you get in a total day then you're missing the point of how people actually experience the game so i would much rather they kept the original amount of shifting and the amount of temporary hit points you got previously or at the very least allowed you to add your constitution modifier onto the double your proficiency bonus that would have at the very least made it more worthwhile and given you another option to increase that number of temp hp by investing in your constitution should you wish but that is just my opinion what do you think about the shifter do you think it's overall uh, an upgrade because you can shift more a downgrade or a side grade let us know in the comment section down below and whilst you're down there hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video if you're new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of any future uploads. There is a lot coming, especially with Spelljammer on the horizon. But until next time, I've been Paul, and I'll see you at the Forge.